Title, Dow's lucky 13-day streak might just bite the dust. TLDR, the Dow Jones is about to put a pause on its longest winning run in 36 years. It had 13 straight green days, with traders attributing its surge to the Fed's rate decisions and recession optimism. Once upon a time, in a land known as Wall Street, the Dow Jones embarked on a magical journey. This old-timer was up and thriving for a spectacular 13 days in a row. This streak hadn't been seen since neon leg warmers and cassette tapes were all the rage back in 1987. But alas, on a fateful Thursday, the grand old Dow saw a dip, declining half a percent by afternoon. Could it be that after riding the high, the Dow's out of steam? You see, even with its recent winning spree, the Dow is like that friend who's always a few minutes late to the party. This year, it's only grown by a meager 7%. Meanwhile, the cool kids S&P 500 and Nasdaq have seen jumps of 18% and a whopping 35%, respectively. Dow, hun, where you at? But wait. What's causing this roller coaster of a ride? You might ask. Well, young investor, the wise wizards at Wall Street believed that the US Federal Reserve was finally done with its inflation-fighting spell after a 25 basis point rate hike. Plus, there's this general feel-good belief that the U.S. economy will swerve right past a recession. Good vibes only, right? Interesting factoid to show off at your next Zoom party, did you know that Dow's most legendary winning streak was 14 sessions? And that was way back in 1897. Think horse carriages and top hats. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, why should I even care about the Dow? I mean, the S&P 500 is where it's at. It's a fair point. The S&P 500 is the popular kid in school with its 500 stocks. But the Dow? It's like the school mascot, everyone knows about it because it gets so much media love. So here's where we're at, with the Dow streak about to snap, does this mark the start of a new trend or is it just a brief nap before it wakes up to rise again? And with the way 2023 has been, who's to say which index will truly emerge as the year's superstar? And now, a question to leave you pondering, if the Dow were to personify its current situation in a song, would it be started from the bottom now we're here, or another one bites the dust?